Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 31 of the chapter Equilibrium. In this video, I'm going to explain solved example of the NCRT textbook to you related to the topic ionization constant of weak acids. Let us come straight to the problem. This is question 7.18. This will help you understand the basic steps that I taught you in the previous video to calculate the degree of dissociation, to calculate the concentrations of the different species at equilibrium and to calculate the pH of a solution. And this question exactly asks you the same things. The question is that the ionization constant of HF is given to you, which is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. You have to calculate the degree of dissociation of HF. What is degree of dissociation? It is alpha. And in its 0.02 molar solution, which means the concentration, initial concentration is given to you. You have to calculate the concentration of all the species present, that is H3O positive, F negative and HF in the solution and also calculate its pH. So the first step is to first see what is given to us and what is expected of us. What is given to us? We've been given the ionization constant of HF, which means Ka is given to us, which is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. Okay, Ka is given. You have to calculate the degree of dissociation, which means alpha is to be calculated and the concentration C, initial concentration C is given to us, which is 0.02 molar, right? Alpha is to be calculated. All the concentrations have to be calculated. All the concentrations and the pH is to be calculated. So these are the things that are expected of you and this is what is given to you. So what is the first step? If, if you do not know what I'm speaking right now, I would encourage you to move to the uh, video number 30 where I told you the different steps that we take in order to calculate all these. I'm only going to use this as an example to explain all those steps. So let us go sequentially. The first step tells us that we must write down all the chemical equations that are related to this. First of all, identify the laurie bronsted acid and base in, the, in this reaction. So what is the reaction? The reaction is the dissociation of HF and which acts as an acid. It will result in the formation of H positive and F negative or H3O positive and F negative. At the same time, water, which is an aqueous solution, since this is an aqueous solution, water acts as a, um, a water itself acts as a base in this reaction and as an acid in the reaction, in the second reaction where water reacts with water. Therefore, we write down both the reactions and compare their equilibrium constants. That equation which has a higher value of equilibrium constant is the primary equation or the primary reaction while the other one is a subsidiary reaction. So let us first come to the water molecules, that reaction. Water molecule combines with water molecule to give you H3O positive and OH negative. And the value of Kw here is 1 into 10 to the power minus 14. If you remember, the, the ionization constant of, uh, of water is 1 into 10 to the power minus 14. Therefore, this is one of the reactions. What is the other reaction? The second reaction is, I would like to write it here because we'd be writing the table there. The second reaction is what has been given to us here, that HF combines with water to give you, again it's an equilibrium, H3O positive plus F negative, right? And the equilibrium constant here, Ka is given to us, which is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. Now compare these two values. Here, the ionization constants in both of these. 10 to the power minus 14 and 10 to the power minus 4. Which one is smaller? 10 to the power minus 4 is uh, bigger and 10 to the power minus 14 is smaller. So this becomes our primary reaction and this becomes the subsidiary reaction. And if you remember in the previous video, I told you that usually the difference between the acidic and basic character between two water molecules is so less and this value would usually be lower than the other reaction and this would usually be the subsidiary reaction. Anyway, having done this step, now we know that this is our primary reaction. So what is the next step? The next step is to write down the initial concentrations of all species in this reaction. 
So initial concentration, I'll write it as IC. I have less space, left, left space here. So I'll write initial concentration. The initial concentration of HF, that is C, was given to us. How much was it? 0 0.02 molar, right? And initially, when we just put HF in water, there was no, the reaction hadn't started. Therefore, the initial concentrations of both the products was zero. Now, he's asked you to find out the degree of dissociation, that is alpha. And let us assume that alpha of 0.02 of this solution reacts, that is HF alpha of 0.02. So 0.02 alpha reacts. So we'll say minus 0.02 alpha reacts to produce if one mole of HF dissociates, it gives you one mole of H3O positive and one mole of F negative. So if 0.02 alpha of HF dissociates, then what would be the concentrations of H3O positive and F negative? Obviously the same because it is, it is the same number of moles. So this would be this is removed from HF, zero, from 0 0.02 molar solution. These many moles of HF was removed, but how much was formed here? So we add, we put a plus sign here. For H3O positive, it would be 0 0.02 alpha, and F negative would also add at 0 0.02 alpha, right? These are the concentrations which have added on. So what is the equilibrium concentration of all the species? Equilibrium concentration would be 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02 alpha, right? This would be the equilibrium concentration of HF and these would be the same 0 plus this is 0 0.02 alpha and this is also 0 0.02 alpha. So now in terms of alpha, we have got the equilibrium concentrations. So what is equilibrium constant? Ka is written as H3O positive, concentration of H3O positive into concentration of F negative upon the concentration of HF, right? That is how you calculate equilibrium constant. So what would Ka be equal to? Ka and remember Ka is given to us. Ka is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. So I can write the value of Ka here is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 would be equal to what is the concentration of H3O positive ions in terms of alpha? It is 0 0.02 alpha and F negative is also the same. So this will be the square of it divided by, let me write it here that will save some space. Divided by, what is the concentration of HF? It is 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02 alpha. Now, if you really look at this, can I not simplify it by taking 0 0.02 outside the bracket? If I do that, I get 0 0.02 into 1 minus alpha, right? Now, from this, if we cancel out 1 0 0.02, what do you get? You get 0 0.02. 0 to alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha is equal to 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. Right? Do you get this? If I divide both the sides by 0 0.02, let us divide this by 1 upon 0 0.02 and this side also by 0 0.02, what do I get? By doing this, I get alpha square upon 1 minus alpha is equal to, if I calculate this, this comes out to be 160 into 10 to the power minus 4. And to write it in the scientific notation, I could write this, take it two decimals here, so this will become minus 2 and this becomes 1.6. 1 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 2. So what would alpha square be now? Let me take this portion here. So I'll have alpha square would be equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 1 minus alpha. So this would be, if I calculate it, it would be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 by multiplying it by 1 and minus 
1.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 alpha. Right? Do you see this? Now, if I shift all of these here, I'll get a quadratic equation. That would be alpha square plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 alpha minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to 0. Do you see? So I got a quadratic equation. Using this quadratic equation, I can solve it for the value of alpha. And when I solve it for the value of alpha, what do I get? I get 1 point. Alpha is, you, you know when you solve a quadratic equation, you get two values. You get plus 0 0.12 and you also get another value of alpha or minus 0 0.12. Now, since alpha is the degree of dissociation, something that is dissociating from a whole, and it, we are talking of concentration of a substance, it cannot have a negative value. You cannot have negative matter, matter that has no uh, volume. So we are talking of volume, so it has to be a positive value. Therefore, this value is not what we consider. Alpha has, we consider only the positive value and we select this. From this entire solution, we have got the value of alpha. After having got the value of alpha, what was the question now? You were supposed to calculate the degree of dissociation of HF. And now, once you get the value of alpha, what do you do? You substitute this value in the equilibrium constant equation. You substitute this value and you get the different concentrations of substances on the basis of alpha. Now, what is the equilibrium concentration of H3O positive? It is 0 0.02 into alpha, right? So, the concentration of H3O positive is 0 0.02 alpha. And what is alpha? The value of alpha is into 0 0.12. Substitute the value of alpha here. So 0 0.02 into 0 0.12 would give you the concentration of hydronium ion. And the concentration of both hydronium ion and F negative is the same. So you will get the concentrations, equilibrium concentrations of both of these species. That is H3O positive and F negative by calculating this. And this comes out to be equal to 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 3, which is equal to 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar solution and this is also the equilibrium concentration of F negative. Now you've got the equilibrium concentrations of H3O positive, F negative and what are you left with? The equilibrium concentration of HF. How do you calculate the equilibrium concentration of HF? It is 0 0.02 minus this value so it is HF then concentration of HF would be equal to 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02 alpha is how much? 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar. And when you calculate this, this comes out to be equal to how much? It is 17.6 into 10 to the power minus 3. It is 17.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar solution. Right? And what is the last part of the question? You have to calculate its pH. What is pH? pH is the minus log of the hydronium ion concentration. So pH would be minus log of H3O positive, which is equal to how much is the H3O positive concentration? It will be minus log of 0. Point, so 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 3. minus log of 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this would be log minus log of 2.4 into log of 10 to the power minus 3. If you put it, uh, sorry, plus log of 10 to the power minus 3. When you solve all of this, you will get 2.62. This value would be equal to 2.62. So that is the pH of the solution. I know this, uh, these questions are a little long because they have these uh, categorical steps that you have to take. But if you follow the steps by, if you follow them step by step, you always come to the right answer. Right? So, although I wanted to do another problem today, uh, I think I'll finish the video right now. And I'll try to solve one or more problem 
in the next video. If you found this one helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos on chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.